right, welcome to the Water for Grant. I'm Chef Wagner, and today we're gonna make my version of trout almondine. What we have here, we just have rainbow trout, and it's patted dry. Uh, we rinsed it off and patted it dry, and then we have fresh almonds that were lightly toasted, fresh cut parsley, kosher salt, black pepper, and uh, softened butter at room temperature. So first we'll get the pan going. And we want to bring the heat up to almost smoke point, meaning that the oil will start smoking very slowly. And that's when you want to add your trout. A little kosher salt, a little cracked pepper, not too much. Start from here, lay it down away from you. So the oil splats away from you. You don't want it to come up and get you. This is pretty much done. You got a nice golden brown. Okay, now we have it on low heat. And we still have some nice brown what we called font in the pan. We want to deglaze it. So we'll take some lemon juice, deglaze it in the pan. Just kind of give that a little bit of a swirl. You'll see that the nice caramelization from the trout is coming off the pan. After that happens and you start getting some bubbling around with the lemon juice, that's when you want to add a good amount of your almonds. A little salt. A little black pepper. You want to get a nice bubbly action with the lemon juice. It's going to release the oils and the almonds, get that flavor all everywhere in this dish. Once we get that going there, we're going to add a nice little pinch of nice fresh chopped parsley. We're going to turn off this heat right now. And then we're going to finish it with a nice dollop of unsalted butter. And then we're ready to plate it. Just drizzle it nicely over the whole fish. So this is going to be a nice fresh beet salad that will go great with the trout. First we have some nice local spring mix. And then we got some nice roasted beets, fresh. Uh, you can use canned, but prefer to do fresh. It's much better, great taste, very sweet. So we'll throw a little bit of that in here. We don't need all of them. So we'll put the excess over here. Then we're going to take some balsamic vinaigrette. Uh, this was home, house made meaning that we made it here, uh, but you can't find this in the store. I'm just gonna add a little bit there to give it a little flavor, not too much. Probably uh, about two or three tablespoons. And next, a little salt, a little cracked pepper. And then we're gonna just fold it very gently. You don't wanna do it too hard, you'll get beet juice all over you. So just, just a nice fold just to incorporate all that nice balsamic vinaigrette and seasoning all throughout there. So now we'll just take the same spoon and we'll just carefully place them right in the middle of these nice fresh local spring mix. And we got some nice fresh goat cheese crumbled up. This is gonna add a nice little texture uh, to go against the nice earthy, sweet uh, beets. And there you have it. Trout almondine, and that's what's cooking out the Waterford. <laughs>